Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be learning how to create this really cool custom badge from scratch right in Illustrator. And make sure you watch to the end because I have something really special for you. So stick around and let's go. Alright guys, so we have our base logo set. And we're just going to focus on designing the badge. So I'll go to the ellipse tool and I'll just draw a simple ellipse. Wait to press shift and x to switch to a stroke and just align it vertically and horizontally on the artboard just trying to resize it to make sure everything is okay i'll set the stroke to four next off i'll just copy the circle and paste it in front so i can have a second copy and this circle is going to form the part where our text is going to sit so I'll move over to the scissors tool, or you can press C, just to sl split the part into two. So I can have two separate parts for the top and the bottom, like you can see here. Okay, so I'll just undo that. And I'll mo move to my type tool, hold it down, click on type on a part, and click on the top um, part. So there we have our dummy text, and I'll just type in to live is Christ. Now, what you want to do here is just set your font. I'm using Canit with a size of 75, and my kerning value is 40. So just get your text set and make sure it's aligned to the center as well. Very important. Next off, you want to just drag your handles to the left and the right edges of the curve just to make sure it's properly centered. Okay, so I'm just going to do the same for the bottom. Just click on it and type in to die is gain. Now you might see some text is not showing. Don't worry. All we have to do is just drag the handles down to the edge and there you go. But you notice the text is kind of inverted so to solve that just select the text move to the type option on the menu bar go to type on a path and click on type on path options so you would want to switch the baseline to center and just flip it so we can preview to see how it is and there we go oh i think we forgot to set the top one on baseline center so let's just quickly do that so switch the baseline to center preview it and there we go so the text is kind of too close to the inner circle so i'll just kind of expand it a little and expanding is going to change the size so i'll just set it back to 75 and there we go next is to duplicate the inner circle so I'll just copy that and paste it in front. Then I'll go ahead to enlarge it to form the outer base of the badge. And our badge is coming out nicely. Okay, so next we'll be forming the text which will sit on the left and right. I'll just change my font width to medium and set it to 36. Next up, we're just going to add the bars which would um, guide the text at the top and bottom so I'll just quickly draw a rectangle here and hold the alt key and drag just to duplicate it to the right so I'll just adjust it a little to make it wider and with the rectangles being selected I'll select the inner and outer circle then I'll move to the shape builder tool or you can press shift and M on your keyboard then we're going to gently cut out the parts of the rectangle that are outside the circle just so we can have two lines like that and there we go our badge is coming out nicely and i'll just select the outer circle and duplicate it to form an extra outer layer for the badge and there we go so our badge is going to work in different forms so we need to work on a version that has a background. So all the text, which is black, I'll just change it to white. And all the strokes as well, 
which are black i'll just select them all and change them to white and for the outer circle i'm going to press shift and x then all we need to do is go to object arrange and send to back i think i'll just slightly adjust this black circle just to give some extra padding and there we go we have our badge in two formats transparent and one also having a background that's it guys that's how to create your really cool custom badges in illustrator and for the special gift i mentioned earlier i have created some really nice wallpapers which you can use on your iphone on your pc on your desktop and on your android devices i'm going to add a link in the description for you to download the various wallpapers or you can go to bit.ly slash tlic that's bit.ly slash tlic to download the wallpapers thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe have a great day and don't forget stay creative